Hello guys, welcome back to Resident Evil Episode 3. Now, again, as I said, we're still doing the um, post-recording. Sorry again. But, uh, after Episode 2, in between the 2 and 3, is it similar to what happened between Episode 1 and 2? I did a bit of researching, and remember what I was saying about uh, certain things? Yep, turns like you can actually smooth it around and uh, that was what I needed to do all along you see so this actually introduces the mansion keys and the riddle book of curses the four masks a mask that speaks no evil a mask that smells no evil the mask that sees no evil a mask that cannot speak smell nor see now I don't know really what this means. I know where it means to where I need to go, but I don't really know what I want to do. Um, but when all four are in pieces, evil will awake. Now, I guess we need to then break all the masks that are down in that mausoleum and take it. That will then open up the coffin that is hanging by the chains. Now, I don't actually know the fuck I had to do with it. Anyway, this is engraved with a sword, so this is the sword key. Now, I was hoping that it would not take up an infantry space, but it does, unfortunately, take up infantry space. Well, as Fab says, you really find my part, because I can't live with that. I can't live. But, uh, it, it, it does get a little bit annoying down the line. I am not going to lie to you. But anyway, again, that's why he's still missing. So fuck knows where he's gone. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, now that we actually have that sword key, I was like, well, mate, you care what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to that to that room with the statue, and I'm gonna open that door. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. I go back and I'm like, yay! I get to open up that door. It's gonna make me feel happy. It's gonna make me feel like, mmm, baby. Mmm, baby. Mmm, baby, you know we're good. you guys for the for the onslaught that's about to happen yeah um, I was gonna say that up comes the possible possibly the scene that made me say nope drug desert <laughs> to this entire fucking game <laughs> and it almost made me do it again oh uh, Uh, see how I'm here and I'm like, oh, this is, this is nice. Just a hallway and boom, glass. <laughs> I literally come to that window and I go, what the fuck was that meant to be? I was like, that's fine. It's fine. And despite I, I moving that, I didn't actually bother to move that. So. Yeah, that's not gonna come and bite me in the ass. Um, but I was like, okay, this is this is this is cool. Like, oh yeah, look, a door. I'll use the lock pick. Yeah, I'll use the lock pick. I'll go outside. It'll be nice. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this this is nice. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, more herbs. Oh, I can't carry this grave. Well, that's five red herbs, green herbs, and BOOM! Can you see them? Can you see them? Because I don't fucking see them. Those things. Fucking zombie dogs. Those were the things that made me nope out of this game when I first played it. <laughs> I was like, ah, nope. 
because they're Dobermans. They are fucking zombie Dobermans. Why zombie Dobermans? I don't know. I don't know. But they are zombie Dobermans. And I was like, <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you, Mr. Magoo. So I was like, <laughs> I'm just going to go back inside. <laughs> Melt's door closed. <laughs> oh, I swear, if I had a gas tank, I would have, but I was like, <laughs> yeah, nope. I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, another door. This will be fun. It's a bathroom. Oh look, a bathtub, full with dirty water and give me a choice to put my hand into it. Of course that's what I'm going to do. Boom! Zombo! Why it only decided to move when I decided to open it up. But Jesus Christ, look at that face. I was expecting Barry to jump in at this point, but no, no Barry, no Bowser. Yeah, it has been used in a while, probably or probably not. And I was like, oh cool, what's in here? Oh, a dagger. Oh, wait, wait. It does save you if you get jumped by a zombie, but the fact that I had to gank a zombie to get a dagger to help me gank a zombie. It didn't really help. It didn't really give me self confidence. And I walked in here. And uh, I'll try to my best to recreate it. I walked in and went, fuck no. Because if you walk into a place, a big square box with only two entrances, one being an exit into a room with no other exits. Yeah, that makes me go, eh, uh, yeah, how about new? No. You crazy Dutch bastard. <laughs> and yay, another dagger. That's like, fine. Then I noticed the shotgun. And I was like, yes, shotgun. But then I realised I can't pick it up. So I just snorted some, just took some herbs to pick up a shotgun. And I noticed I go up and I was like, ah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Well polished silver platter. And I was like, okay. Like, okay, this is fine. This is, this is, this is fine. Looked at the map and I'm like, this is, this is, Shuttering green and red. Why is it shuttering like that? It's like, okay, this is, this is fine. I can I can deal with this shit. So I decided to leave. It's like, oh, that's fine. I'll sleeve. What's the worst that could happen? That's the worst thing that happened. The honey roof is falling on me slowly, and I was like, "Well, fuck." Well, that's fine. I'll just stay on this door. The door won't open. The door won't open. Okay. Well, bollocks! I like shouting, "Let's go, Barry! Help!" And then, bam! Barry, the sexy man in the vest himself, Baza. Basil, bull end. Grab my bull hand. <sighs> yeah. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? 
I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Yep, Bowser helped us, and I was like, yes, Barry, Barry our savior. How about our cast? Picture a night mounted, oh, cool. I walked through here and I was like, hello, in here. And I was like, oh, this is nice. Corridor. Just walk through another door, like, yeah, this is, this is fine. I haven't been ganked by any zombies. Had a had a roof drive. Oh fuck! A zombie. I was like, it's fine. It's fine. I just shot it a bunch of times, trying to knock it down. I was like, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. I was gonna grab that herb, and I was like, that's fine. I haven't got any space in my bag there. But shot. I was like, oh, fuck. Why'd you go around the corner and boom, zombie? I was like, fuck me. And armor. I was like. Am I gonna be able to use this key again? Walk around the corner. Walk through doors like This is fine. And, oh look, herbs. Can't use these herbs. So I don't have any space. And then it's talking about a fireplace. I'm like, oh cool, fireplace. This is fine. Wonder if I had to light that up. But I can't wait that light that up. Because I don't have anything to set fire with. Very, very considering just popping the diamond in there anyway, but can't go anywhere because need an helmet key. Yes, as you can see, I did try and just combine everything in my inventory to see what I can achieve. So yeah, there's this lack of space in my inventory is not helpful. It's fine, you know. Uh, I just try and leave. <laughs> I notice the zombie is around. I'm like, fuck it, let's just shoot the shit out of it. You don't need to take these ones out. Um, I can't remember whether or not. I can't remember exactly which ones turn into crimson heads. Which are like. Well, they're another type of zombie. Which happens it later in the game and I'm like, oh cool. A plank. Oh wait, I can't carry it. I get very salty very quickly with the with the lack of space and it makes me very sad. Cause there's like the I can't even find like lockers or anything. I can't like put anything away. I can't drop anything. Ground film with Jupiter. Oh look, I found something else, but I can't pick it up because I don't have enough space. Space. This is just about medical herbs. Basically, like these herbs are good for you. If you do them in this sort of phase, then you get it. Blah blah blah. blah. Bleep, bleep, bleep. And I find a lighter, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could use that. Oh wait, I haven't got enough space. I need a lighter and I go, go, go into that place with the fireplace and light the fireplace and blip pop blip. And basically I'm just trying to get rid of these bullets as fast as possible without just randomly shooting them off. Because I want to get rid of them but I don't want to waste them. You know? So. And I was like, oh fuck. This zombie is fucking close. And yep. This bad boy is there as well. <laughs> Both there. I was like, fuck this shit. Go through anyway. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. It, doesn't say, it didn't come up with saying that it's fallen off, so I was like, yeah, fuck it. Probably at some point it will fall off and will lock me away from that whole entire area, but until then, we're yeah, fine. I just. Wade my way back through my like, yes, it's fine. Just, I'll go back, save, and everything will be a okay. And it was at this moment that I learned I fucked up. Because, boom! Zombie dog.
but not just one. Uh, uh, boom! Second one. It attacks me. And I was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh yeah, baby, fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna get the fuck right, fuck right out of here. Yeah, it's clear. News? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Alright then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Basically, I was like. I was wandering back and I was like, well, I'm going to try and uh, solve this uh, this puzzle. A, you know, a puzzle about the uh, faces. I can remember it too much. So I was like, I could remember it too, too, too closely, but I was like, I don't, I don't remember it enough. So I came down stairs to, to figure that out. So I thought like just clicking on them in the right order would somewhat do it. And I'm like, okay, well, there you go. There's this one, there's this one, and then one inside. Then I decided to shoot them. Shooting them would do. Shooting them would do. Well then. I think even at one point I decided to try to shoot the coffin, but that, that again didn't work. Yeah. Instead of shooting the coffin at that point, I was like, Nami. Nami, sorry. I was like, well, there's a woman with a whole nose, so it kind of smelled nice. I want to yeah, kind of see anything, I want to kind of taste anything, I can't kind of really mind where it is. So I thought it was one, four, two, three, but it, 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 it didn't work out the way I did it. So I might take the inscription from what it says and write it down, and then try and figure it out properly. If not, that boom. Yeah. It's at this point that I'm um, trying to find the inscription online. <laughs> I keep randomly talking, like, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 But this is me trying to find the inscription online. Literally just typed in Resident Evil 1, um, full mask riddle, and it pops, popped up on, popped up on the Google images. Because like I keep my phone near me at all points, just just in case. But uh, yeah, and then that was me. Like, because it said to fall apart, for to shoot it, but it it doesn't it doesn't do that. Yeah, so it's like the mask without eyes, the mask without mouth, the mask without nose, the mask without any. And I tried doing that, like shooting and even putting them in there, but. Mm. Yeah, this is me like trying to shoot them. Be like, yeah, I'll just shoot them, see if I can get that to work. And it doesn't, it doesn't work. 
but I think I need to like find these masks around the mansion. So I think I need to put them these masks onto them. I think. I'm not hundred percent sure. But uh, again. Listen, I think there were crests in the original game. Yeah, then I just kind of bumble around a bit, as I normally do. You know, you know me. I often just bumble into things like boo boo doo boo doo boop. Anyway, it's all good. Go back inside the house. We're like. Yeah, it's so good in the hood, bro. Um, but yeah, basically, with that whole not being able to do the mask, I was like, oh, fuck, I was wanting to do, mate. At this point, it would be more intelligent for me to actually try and figure out what that shield's about. But, uh, I don't. Instead of trying to wander around the house trying to find all the rooms that have the sword key so I can actually swap because by this point I actually know about that. But it, it just dawned on me that I can not only push things side to side but I can also push things around the room and I forgot that the zombie was there so I just like quickly I forgot I hadn't actually killed him but his pathing is so poor that he just Instantly walks into it and doesn't move about moving around. So I just shoot the shit out of him, basically. But yeah, so it dawned on me that I pushed the statue over the edge, which means I can push things side to side and left to right. And I was like, wait, I don't need to try and shoot this thing down. I don't need anyone to, like, give us a boost. I only do it on my own by moving the fucking thing. And yeah, that, that's. Just a map. It literally is just a map, and I don't know. I, I actually don't know if it's the entire thing or not. But it developed me into this map, and then it it kind of gave me this idea of trying to just green screen the entire thing, like go around to every room and try and get everything from it. Like, yeah. Basically, I can't figure out what it is in that, you know, typewriter room that I need to actually fix. I still don't know to this point, so I might I'll do a little bit of exploring off camera to figure that out. This is this is me going in there trying to figure it out, like clicking on everything. Also, hopefully saving. I can't remember if I saved here. God, I hope I have. No, I don't know if it's because I haven't... I need to maybe put that crystal somewhere, or maybe I need to put the shield in somewhere. I don't, I don't quite know what it is, to be honest with you, bro. Um, no, I thought it was something to do with these candles as well, because they're at a like, crooked angle, but no, I was just talking about the space where the shield used to be. And I might go around and I'm like, well, it's just a fucking pot. There's a nose. And yes, I, I do a sneaky little, little, little save just there, because I'm like, Argh. we've done quite a bit. Um, <laughs> We've explored quite a bit, I don't want to lose any of that. So while we're while we're here, might as well uh might as well do a little bit of the uh, baby. A little gravy baby. Um especially knowing my track record. Yeah, and there was something about that and I was like 
I mean, I don't like shooting it because I realise that shooting things doesn't really do anything. There is still a zombie wandering around up in the uh, the top deck there, but just ignore that. It's fine. <laughs> Again, the zombies pathing seems very set in the way that they work, so that is it's fine, honestly. No, it's not anything that really bothers me too much. Um, basically, because of what I did with that um, like chest of drawers there, I was like, wait, the, the, there was other chest of drawers. And then this concerned me because it went back to where I had it prior, and the zombies there. So I don't know if I'm going to turn up in that room at some point, and he's going to be wandering around. But yeah, basically, I, I realised what I did with that chest of drawers, and I was like, oh, what if I do with those covers? Yeah, it's kind of annoying because I, I shot this dog down, and the dog didn't stay down, even for a minute. It's really irritating. I had to use both my daggers on it, which kind of pissed me off because I was like, well, I need to keep those daggers. Yeah, basically I can move these chest of drawers and I thought there would be something behind it. Oh. It wasn't. There wasn't anything behind it. No, it's just a shiny, shiny dagger. I don't get why you can't kill just straight up murder zombies, but it's kind of annoying. I kind of wish they had. I don't know if it's maybe it's because I keep shooting in the chest. Because you can't, you can't move your um, where you're going to point him up to the to the head area. I uh, I thought it was something to do with the like mansions and being at night and day and blah blah blah. I was considering wandering around with a shotgun. And I decided not <laughs> not to. I actually shouldn't be wandering around with the gun out because it actually slows you down slightly. You wander around with the dagger out with like the, the, the combat knife instead of the gun, you actually move slightly faster. But yeah, then I realised I can move this to the cabinet. I was like, oh, awesome. I wonder if I've got to find any more secrets and. No, just ammo. Just ammo. <laughs> Don't really need ammo. Just kind of trying to get rid of it, so I try to spare spare slot. But anyway, uh, I didn't know whether or not I got anything out there. So when I left the room to the next corridor, door swings. Hello. I check. I check the map and spadoosh. Yeah, it's all good. It's all going and done. And I have a bit that bit of the L shape in the right. Uh, the reason I like it so complete is because there is still herbs out there, and um, the grow bag thing that's through that metal door. I kind of forgot what was in here. No way, I haven't forgotten again. That is that is the bathroom. But you notice there's no zombie on the floor, so I don't know if it despawned or not. <laughs> Kind of freaked me out a little bit otherwise. But I was like, oh, fuck it. Right, okay, this is fine. Kind of like searching around, just trying to 100% sort of like clear out this entire floor before moving upstairs. Because it is a mansion, it kind of just goes around a circle, and I believe uh, that when you go out where the dining room is, go to the right, skip that zombie, and you go down those stairs. There is also a sword door there. I don't know where that sword door leads. Yeah, I've seen probably a morgue. This is a place is creepy as fuck. Uh, it is locked. It's got the Spencer family. Oh yeah, this is the dispenser thing. So then we go outside, and I'm like, okay, this is this is this is fun. And then dog 
So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, then feel free to leave a like, share, post a comment, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. Hope you also enjoyed um, Resident Evil 2. That is also out on the channel, but that's actually, you know, volumes being recorded. Audio actually being recorded with the gameplay. Um, and that just died. Hence the reason I was doing my little outro. Anyway, I've been Panda, you've been you. I'll see you when I see you. Panda out.